there. We've got some great films. We want to see you here. Real We're world also Day. showcasing the work of Canadian artists all around the world. I absolutely love it. We've been helping and promoting artists from our communities for 13 years now. Hey guys, it's Frida Chopper here with Mind Bender Supreme at Real World <laughs> Toronto, the place to be. That's it, that's right. Film festival for music videos. Now, tell me, is this a long time coming or what? To be able to celebrate the music video and recognizing that it's film and it's art. Well, you know what? Real World has done a great job doing it, man. From day one, I was a part of it. And prior to that, you know, film was like either you have a short, long format, whatever the case was, and that's it. But Real World has found a way to integrate it and know that there are stories within music videos. Like when I do a music video, um, performance is good, but I always love putting a story together, right? Because as, as an artist, as a filmmaker, I think sometimes, depending on the content of the video and the song, like it's my responsibility to tell that story. I want to tell the story. I want to kind of build characters within it and have it just more just a performance video, some depth, some breadth. You can put your mind into it. And you look like you just came off a set. Uh, <laughs> what are you working on now? Um, I'm working on my next piece. is, is uh, It's a tap dance movie set in 1930s Harlem. It's about a once gifted tap dancer who's running a fairly nightclub. And uh, the club that he runs is owned by the mob. And he has uh, so many days to pay the mob back, back their money. So it's back against the wall. Yeah. So tap is one of those dance that's kind of like lost. It's like a lost dance. I like know it does it anymore. So we're trying to make a film that's going to take that dance to a whole other level. So tell us a little bit about the experience in this film. I did a film called The Good Life. Yeah. And also The Wifey, which is out Walmart, Target, and Amazon. Very good. And what's really wonderful about film festivals like this is that they support independent filmmakers. Yes. And we, you know, and minorities, and we get to tell our stories. And then we have an audience to go to, and not just inside my country, but outside. So it's really wonderful that we continue to support film festivals like this because it gives a voice to the people and we get to tell our stories. It does. Now, this particular movie that yeah. I'm here for, The Good Life, is about a couple dealing with infidelity. And both of them are cheating. That's tough. <laughs> so how they get through it is the journey that you see in the story. Are you ready for me? I did and I will be. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. No question. Congratulations but this is my thank you. Thank you. But this is my day job. This is what I do for a living, meeting okay. people. And uh, so coming out here was really important. And my character, Bejide, is still haunted by the past. Okay. So uh, she's with her godson in the school system. And um, without giving much away, there's an awkward situation that happens between her, her godson, and the teacher. Okay. And so then it becomes a matter of what's in the best interest of this child and how do these two women uh, come to terms with that. Very interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Sounds like a story I read in the paper on here. Yeah, that's right. So it might be based on a true story. It is. It's actually really quite well, relatable and uh, very much represents the racial and social divide that happens in our own city. Nice, nice. <laughs> and um, what's the vibe of the film? Action? Uh, drama? Uh, it's more drama. Yeah. It's drama and uh, very much a women's story and very much just about um, what is that communication barrier, you know, and, and how are we as a community to come together. So it's, it's a drama and uh, quite touching, I would say. Nice. Yes. And how long did you take to shoot a film? Oh, boy, we shot it down and dirty. We were in and out, I think it was two days. Nice. Uh, nice. Really interesting. Do you have any message for any filmmakers? Well, you know, if you've got a story, tell it. Turn the camera on, just like you're doing right now. And let your heart open. Face the camera. And then add music to it at the end.